Hello guys, today I want to talk to you about my makeup school experience. So as some of you may know if you follow me on Instagram that I have been attending makeup school recently and I have graduated and I am now a qualified makeup artist which is so exciting. I went to Icon School of Makeup in Newcastle. I chose to go to a specific school of makeup rather than a TAFE because I didn't want to do like the beauty therapy side of things. I really wanted to focus on makeup artistry. I didn't want to be waxing anyone's pube hairs or like that kind of stuff. I just wanted to get into the makeup. That's why I went there. It's in Newcastle, Australia, which is the town I am currently living in. I don't want to go into too much detail regarding the content since it is like the copyright of the school, but I will do a brief overview of what happened. So basically I chose the fast track course. It cost $2,300, I think, and it was a 10 day intensive makeup artist course. It is basically the 12 week classic course that most people do, which is like a one day a week kind of thing for 12 weeks. It was like that, but they like squished all the content into 10 days. So it was really, really hectic. It was a hectic two weeks, really busy, lots of homework. It was just a really busy time. So if you are limited on time, I would recommend, but otherwise I think it would be nice to kind of space it out and you can kind of learn easier, I think, rather than like cramming it all together. My days went from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So not really that long a day, but when you're on your feet the whole time doing makeup like it feels quite long. So the first couple days were just like introductions, a lot of theory stuff like the basics, like basic skincare, basic makeup practice, just to kind of make sure everyone was on the same page which was good. It did feel a little slow though. Some of the standout things that I learned during that time was like to do with the color wheel and cancelling colors and what complements another color and how to mix colors like how to use colors to mix the right foundation shade and so on and so forth. I found that really really interesting. I'll insert a photo of where we used the three primary colors red yellow and blue and white and that's all we used and we had to make our skin shade which was pretty cool like it was a very visual and practical way of seeing that everyone's skin tone is actually made up of the three primary colors which is kind of hard to believe because you're like red yellow blue what so that was really interesting and learning how to mix foundation shades also learning about how different people's faces will affect how you apply their makeup like how their eye shapes and their overall face shape will really depend like how you choose to like shade and highlight their face and all that kind of stuff she also talked to us and demonstrated to us makeup sanitation like how to keep your makeup really sanitary and not double dip things and not infect things and all the good stuff that you want a makeup artist to know so that was really really good. After the first couple of days of the course we started doing like half a day of theory, half a day of actually doing practical stuff which was really good. We started off like a, with a really natural kind of daytime look and we did lots of face charts and stuff as well. We did a night look, we did a corporate look. We worked on false eyelash application and smoky eyes and winged eyeliner. And we also talked about makeup for photography and how that is different, especially for like black and white and like under different lighting and what kind of things you can do to make sure the makeup looks good. Um, and then on the first Friday, we had our first like real clients and we had to get in an older woman. So someone who'd be a suitable age for mother of the bride. And we had to get in a male and we we're doing like natural kind of male makeup, like what news readers wear. And we we're doing mother of the bride makeup. My husband came in, which was really nice. And my friend's mum came in, it was really nice. And it was just really, really exciting. I really loved it. Like I really felt like makeup was what I wanted to do. Like I really, really enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed making people happy. Their reaction after they saw like their makeover, they still looked like themselves, but it just kind of had a bit of fun things going on on their face. And that was really satisfying. The next week on Monday, we were doing bridal. So we had to have one of our friends come in to be our mom. Model and we would first do like a really natural bride look and then like a really glamorous bride look. That was really fun. The next day we did some practice of remedial camouflage for covering like birthmark scars, tattoos, that kind of stuff. That was really fun. Um, it made me realize, I guess, how hard it is to make it look natural, especially up close. So if I was going to do that in future, I think I'd really want to practice it a lot and really know my products well. We also talked about like setting up our business as a freelance makeup artist if we wanted to go into that and the kind of legal stuff that you need to worry about and make sure that it's all schmick and okay and business cards, all the stuff that you don't really know about unless you have started a business before. And that 
that Tuesday afternoon we got to bring one of our friends in and just do whatever makeup we wanted. We had to try to incorporate some of the techniques that we had been learning about so like winged eyeliner, matching foundation, choosing like the right blush and lip colour that would suit them. On the Wednesday our makeup assignment was due so we had to research makeup of like all the decades from like the 20s to like now and sketch face charts of them, research different characteristics that the decade focuses on for the makeup and we had to research some brands and it's quite interesting. I found the face charts quite time consuming maybe because I'm a bit of a perfectionist but it was fun and on that day we were actually having a photo shoot so we had two models come in. One model for a glamour look so I guess kind of what you would think for school formal or prom if you're in America. So I had one of my friends who's actually the Daily Mark on Instagram. She is so lovely and she bought her little baby and it was so... Ugh. The baby was really distracting, like I just kept staring at her because she was so cute. And I was like, I need to do this makeup. Anyway, so that was really fun. And then we had a photo shoot, which was a new experience. And then my brother came in and I did this high fashion look on him, which was this blue all across the eyes, which I literally just made up. I just had the idea throughout the week and I was like, I want to do this. And he was gracious enough to come in, so that was really fun. That is definitely one of my favourite kind of makeup styles, editorial. It's not super wearable, but it's just so beautiful and so creative, and I'd love to get into that in future. Not sure if Newcastle's the place to be able to do that, but you know, it's just one of my goals. The next day we had a business assignment which was to do with business things that you would need to set up your business so like safety procedures and random stuff like that and also just doing some research and that day was the biggest day for sure because we actually had three models coming in for three different photo shoots the first one was the character look which is just a character that is well known so like Elphaba from Wicked or like Cleopatra I went with Princess Nononoke from the anime film if you've seen it it's a studio Ghibli and she's basically a wolf princess and she thinks that she's like a wolf baby. It was pretty great. I actually watched that like a few days before, so it was just on my mind and I was like, I'm doing that. So I made my friend look like her, which was pretty fun. And next we had a mother of the bride look and I had the gorgeous woman come back in again for me that I had on the last Friday and she let me do her makeup up and we had a photo shoot. And last of all, we had bridal. And my lovely friend Alexis, who is Art of Sleeping In here on YouTube, she came in for me and I did like a kind of pretty bride look for her and we took some photos and it looks amazing. I'll put some photos up now. On the last day we actually had like a written test which was good, it was pretty easy. And then we had a practical assessment so we were given one out of the four makeup looks she had and we had to do it on one of the other students and she tried to pick like a makeup look that was like our weakest point so she could make sure that we were good enough to be satisfied. And that was actually really fun, like it was a really fun challenge and we had to complete it within 45 minutes because typically that's how long you want to take to do makeup especially for weddings and stuff see so yeah, that was really fun I made it through it all and I passed and I had a really great experience in terms of like equipment the course included this Lime Lily Cosmetics brush set the brushes are pretty good and it was nice like everyone having the same brush set so she would teach us um, how to use them like this brush that no one normally uses at home we used to apply primer which was I guess a very core part of the experience because skin prep really affects how the foundation will look. Anyway, so this little set came with it. Quite like Lime Lily, so I'm happy for that. I will in future use a brush belt, which I already have, and I'll stick some of my favourite brushes in there. It's nice to have a couple, like, of a few brushes in each, in case you don't have time to, like, sanitise and clean up between clients, especially lip brushes because they're, like, a pain to clean up. In terms of foundation, which I found really, really interesting. First of all, we use these latex-free sponges. You can't really tell, but they're actually like wedges. And they were surprisingly good. Do be careful though if you want to try this method because you don't want to buy like the crappy ones that you can get like in store. You want to go for latex free because they're just a lot nicer and a lot more sturdy. And these are disposable, so it's kind of like a bit more hygienic. After each client, you can just chuck it in the bin. And I kind of expected that makeup artists just had like heaps and heaps of bottles of foundation, but the school I went to used Krylon and they used Supra Color, which is, it feels really light on the skin. It has pretty decent coverage depending on how much you build it up. And it's like this cream texture, so I'll show it to you. So usually when we're working on clients, we had these six shades. I did actually buy this palette myself. I bought it through the school because you can get a discount. These six shades are the typical shades you would use 
on most clients. I would in future like to invest in another one of these filled with lots and lots of darker shades and maybe even like a much lighter shade than this just so I can really extend my brand because I would love to focus on really really dark skin tones kind of like my skin tone to darker and also like really light skin tones because I feel like often people don't understand those types of skin tones and kind of ruin their face it really puts them off makeup I don't think it should be that way we used a spatula and we would get out bits of each and we would, would sanitize our hand first and then we'd mix it up on our hand, the foundation for each person and match it up to this area of their face and you'd look at their whole body like you want it their face to look like it matches with their whole body. So that was definitely one of the most challenging things, like mixing foundation shades for people. Like it's it's really tricky. But at this school, I was given lots of opportunities to practice it, lots of help if I needed it, and like guidance into like what direction. And now it's kind of like second nature for me. So that's really something that I'm really grateful for. And now I don't have to carry around like heaps of bottles of foundation when I do jobs. It just it just makes so much sense to mix individual shades for people because like it is so rare especially for me to find a foundation that just matches me perfectly the only one I have found is the Estee Lauder double wear cushion in a stick but like so often they just don't match and my skin like changes throughout the year anyway so I love that little thing that does most skin tones so that's really good anyway I had an amazing time at makeup school I learned so much I'm really glad that I did it and I'm really excited to launch my makeup artist business it's called Mel Allen makeup I would love 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 if you gave me a like on Facebook because I'm trying to grow my customers and audience on there so that would really help me out if you live in the Newcastle area and you have a wedding coming up or a formal please let me know I'd love to do your makeup if you want to get in contact and hire me to do your makeup for an event I would love to please let me know so we can organize a trial I think one of the biggest things I learned from actually doing a like accredited course as opposed to just kind of self teaching off YouTube is about I guess keeping things sanitary and learning how to do makeup for more than just yourself so often when I'm following tutorials on YouTube I look for myself I don't often look for like makeup for like older women or makeup for men because like I don't do I don't I don't normally put makeup on those kinds of people so it's really great to kind of learn how to do different face shapes and foundation shades and like skin colors and undertones and all that kind of stuff and also learning how to make sure you don't infect someone with someone else's nasty nasty diseases was good and they like spent like half a day teaching us like how to recognize like conjunctivitis how to recognize like contagious like skin things to make sure we don't infect ourselves, infect our products, infect other people because that's really important and like one of my biggest pet peeves is when makeup artists like use like the same eyeliner or the same mascara on other people. I'm like oh, no just don't just don't do that that's so bad. If you have any more questions please let me know and I really hope this helped you in your decision making about whether to do a makeup artist course or not. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!